please remember to leave a like, a comment, share the video about, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Thank you. Well, isn't this just fantastic? So last week I made four videos talking about the circumstances surrounding accusations levied after many years of waiting against Dr. Disrespect. My belief in the first two videos was we had to presume innocence until proven guilty. In the third video, he pled guilty in the court of public opinion space by explaining the context for why he did what he did. The fourth video centered around fallout. This is going to be a continuation of that fallout because more has transpired since then whether that be false accusations from one person, or whether it be individuals mass deleting because they said something defamatory. I might have some of those. I did get a comment in a boogie video, and I'm not going to put it on the screen because out of respect to you, I don't want you getting harassed. In fact, I'll say it now, please don't do it. On Friday, I made a video talking about boogie. The reason wasn't a leftist tactic to distract from me defending Dr. Disrespect on Sunday and Monday, or Monday and Tuesday. Those two days I think are the correct two actually, the latter, not the former. No, I made the boogie video because it was a hotter topic on the day. Take your tinfoil hat off, calm your tits and have a biscuit. And let's continue to go through what has transpired since the last Dr. Disrespect video. We're going to start with the fact that the San Francisco 49ers have stopped working with Dr. Disrespect. Quote, we take these developments seriously and we will not be working with him going forward. That being tweeted by Dexter2. Nadeshot commented on the situation following the uh, statements by saying, I don't think it takes a rocket scientist to understand that I don't support talking to minors. Flip here. Have you seen a doctor tweet? I have, man. I have. Obviously, a lot of people been tweeting at me. You know me. You guys know me for a long time. Obviously, I have a relationship with Doc. Played golf a lot the last year. Come on, man. I mean, it's pretty much common sense how I feel about that. I've got a daughter now. It's like I got people calling me out in my Twitter mentions like, yo, why don't you got your pitchfork out? Why aren't you, you know, if you don't come out right now and say how much you don't fucking like this guy anymore, you're a piece of shit. I'm like, dude, I really don't want to get into it. Hifu, much like many people in fact, has called on Twitch to release the whispers proving all of this giving us the irrefutable evidence that many require to put that final nail either in the coffin of Dr. Disrespect or to better understand the situation in general, which is where I'd rather lean. The nail in the coffin is given at this point. Nick Merckx, who recently got a ban for certain comments said during Pride Month, said on a stream, he was a friend. People think that we're like best friends. I don't even know the guy outside of a wig. We took one picture together and newsflash, he was in a wig and we talked for eight minutes. Now this is because of the belief that these former Twitch employees only came out and said these things about Dr. Disrespect, which he then confirmed because of Nick Merckx's anti-pride stance. Keemstar, YouTube banned EDP445 after he got caught trying to meet a minor for a 13 year old cupcake. Do you think YouTube will ban Dr. Disrespect after he admitted to talking to a minor inappropriately? I know for a fact YouTube is investigating this. They always do when it's this high profile. Don't forget here, users like Shane Dawson got demonetized very quickly when there was enough controversy against him. CS2 has decided to release limited edition Dr. Disrespect skins following recent developments. Kojo Mo tweeted out the images. They would include an AK, an M249, and a Nova. I know nothing of these pew pews, but you know, you, you tell me in the comments. Nick Diorio. Keem just told me the Bloomberg article is the big nuke. Does anyone have a mirror? My understanding is that it's mostly what we already know, but three Twitch employees are the sources for it, the fourth being the leaker dude. Another loss of revenue for Dr. Disrespect would be that NBA 2K24 has removed Dr. Disrespect from the game, which will be in the next patch. So far, all these um, revenues of income are dropping off like flies. And we've still yet to see those whispers that I agree with Tifu and many others we do need to see. His admission of guilt doesn't change that there is a consequence to that. I just want to understand it better. Kick have come out and said that they have no plans to preemptively ban Dr. Disrespect. Now, we did discuss last week, 
he actually did get offered a deal with them. I also remember last year discussing that he had said he wouldn't go there to kick unless they upped the offer significantly. The offer they had given him was 10 million. But since XQC got 100 million, he believed he was worth more than that or somewhere in that ballpark before he would even consider leaving YouTube who did not have him tied to an exclusive deal. In fact, one of the reasons YouTube didn't have him tied to a deal is because of the controversy surrounding how he was banned in the first place. Dexter 2. Dr. Disrespect knew the victim he was messaging was underage and indicated to them it was no problem, confirmed by a Twitch, former Twitch employee via Slasher Rolling Stone. Retweeted by Nick Diorio, I am now completely convinced Twitch would never have told us Dr. Disrespect messaged a minor at all and the journalist who knew would have 100% let him get away with it. The reason why Slasher went dark for four years is the same reason Twitch refuses to drop redacted logs now. Literally nothing has changed except we found out through a rogue employee. Included our two images confirming this. Looks like literally the whole effing industry knew, so don't feel bad guys. If you gave Doc the benefit of the doubt, so did effing YouTube and they knew more than we did. Confirming that there is some truth to all of this. Also, what the F does this mean? Investigations by law enforcement, it's been four years. They're still investigating. Did you call the cops already? There is a big, big point here. Of course, we should not take away from the fact that Dr. Disrespect has admitted to talking to a minor in an inappropriate manner. Those conversations should have never happened. Because this is now mostly public, to be honest, these platforms should be showing us everything now for transparency and for optics on themselves. Because these optics aren't good for any of them, Twitch especially. And the fact they're not saying anything or doing anything is, quite frankly, beyond disrespectful but unsurprising considering what Twitch are like. Slasher, or Rod Breslow, had tweeted, From me for Rolling Stone, Dr. Disrespect knew he was sending those explicit messages to a minor. Former Twitch employee says he indicated that this was no problem. Included is a Rolling Stone article. Generally, when it comes to Rolling Stone as an outlet, I don't pay much attention to them because of their college campus articles from all those years ago that were based on fakery. I consider them fake news, but there is some truth, as Nick Diorio had tweeted, confirming much of what is said in this. Another consequence for Dr. Disrespect is that YouTube is now pausing paid memberships on his channel. The Quartering. The latest on Dr. Disrespect leaves little doubt. 1. Sent sexually graphic messages to a minor he knew to be underage. 2 was made aware of the individual being underage and indicated it was not a problem, I'm out. Quotes underneath. I recall that Dr. Disrespect was made aware by the individual that they were underage during the conversation, after which he indicated this was no problem and continued on. There was no confusion. Messages sent after this was acknowledged were no less graphic and in sexually explicit nature than before. And I think more than the categorization of leaning too much in the direction of being inappropriate might indicate. A user called Blacklight replied to the courtroom by saying, Anonymous, again not pro-doc. I want to see someone come forward with their name and their current or past position so it can be verified rather than Cody, who is trying to sell tickets to his concert or an anonymous source. Now I do agree with some points there, but Dr. Disrespect did come out and explicitly address this, and we have covered it. I do think more needs to be transparently dealt with, an inquiry of some kind. Social media clearly are doing a bit of a Jimmy Savile BBC thing here, because they all protected Dr. Disrespect. They all did it because it seemed to be that terrain of newness where we don't know what to do. Now Slasher, getting a fair bit of heat for deleting some accusations we'll get too soon, celebrated the article getting published by going on Hassan Piker's stream. Nick Diorio tweeted by saying in the opening minute he tells Hassan that legal has carefully mapped out what he can and can't say, and then he immediately blurts out unverified reports of Dr. Disrespect getting arrested. There are a number of clips here. I'm going to read through the tweets first. Imagine having been told by Hassan Piker about being careful what information you blurt out in regards to breaking news that Russia is never going to invade Ukraine guy. Hassan, the screenshot is fake. Yeah, uh, well, I didn't even show it, but like I said, it's unconfirmed and I would not run with that. Any other questions, Rod? Slasher, give me traffic. And Lamal, the absolute timing. Rod Breslow, I have confirmed with San Diego Sheriff's Department that no one was arrested, nor was there an incident at that location. Some tweets were deleted by Slasher. Uh, they really did themselves no favours in this situation. And of course, a relevant clip of this should be played now. <laughs> Might potentially be some breaking news, Hassan. I did get a DM about an hour ago from someone who lives in Encientes, um, near, Ranch uh, near Rancho uh, Santa Fe. That is the area 
that Dr. Disrespect lives in. Mm -hmm. And he sent me a screenshot from the next from his next door, which is in that area. And there is a comment. This was from 11 a.m. this morning. So this is before like my article came out. Um, there is a comment that says we just saw Dr. Disrespect in handcuffs. Nick Dioria, this right here is why it took four years to report Dr. Disrespect's predatory behavior, and it's disgusting. Included is a clip from Destiny. Everyone wants to dog on the idiot who leaked the story to sell concert tickets, but the reality is after four years of Twitch investigating, this story was never coming out in any official capacity. Twitch effing sucks. And anyone who knew actual details and watched this guy make millions on YouTube is a piece of shit. To be honest, there's a point there as well, because you stood back, Twitch, and you did nothing when you knew something that should have been dealt with. Think of what has happened in the four years since. All the money, all the success, all the acclaim, the sponsorships, the branding. The guy became an avatar for gaming YouTubers and streamers in general. He was thought of as one of the top guys. Not the, just one of. And the guy was messaging minors, or a minor. I don't know if there was more than one. Eight thoughts. This is why I changed my mind after crucifying Dr. Disrespect. Something is feeling off about the whole thing. Image included. Confirm. Dr. Disrespect was reported by Twitch to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children when they were illegally recording whispers by the doc back in 2017. A full investigation was authorized and no wrongdoing was found and no illegal activity took place by Dr. Disrespect. No arrests were made and no charges were filed, thus adding more weight that Dr. Disrespect is innocent, as this is indeed looking like witch hunt by ex-Twitch employees to frame Dr. Disrespect, unconfirmed. It is also reported that the minor was actually a former Twitch employee pretending to be a 17-year-old girl and trying to bait Dr. Disrespect with entrapment techniques while the ex-Twitch mods illegally recorded it all. They were all fired soon after and sued by Dr. Disrespect's legal team. They are very bitter over this and why this whole thing is coming out for the second time after it has already been dealt with. According to this Twitter user, the information came from Slasher doing an interview with Destiny. Reply from Christopher Kai, it's from Call of Shane, and it seems to have been deleted. This has been confirmed by the person actually stating Call of Shane with the image, with the full-sized image, showing Call of Shane's name on it. And the community post that this derives from on the Call of Shane channel is not deleted. So I do want to point out, 8 in this instance, the user who posted it originally, 8 thoughts, is being intentionally deceptive with the post and not properly crediting the person who had actually posted it. This is not a good look for 8 thoughts in the slightest. I do want to add that this does, as pointed out by Legal Mindset, open up a whole discussion on liability, and the Twitch minor bait theory is one of many possibilities cannot be dismissed at this present moment. And let's face it, Twitch should be investigated for this. They should. It is a bit of a distraction from what's going on, of course it is. But it does not change that that is still a correct statement. One last thing, I should actually play a clip of Slasher talking to Destiny with the point of the um, Twitch reporting Dr. Disrespect to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children here. On Twitch, and I have reported that Twitch did report this to the National Center of uh, Missing and Exploited Children. Why not? You have that on record? Yes. Why not request? That's a big deal. Why that not is a big deal? Why not request that they have released information, or why not request that law enforcement through this entire time, which then very likely at the behest of MCMEC to do something, have say something? As one last point to be made in this video, I'm not entirely sure what happens next, whether or not there will be any more videos if Dr. Disrespect comes back from his vacation, whether he can come back, whether other sponsors, if there are any left, continue to pull out. Let's face it, at this point though, he's lost the vast majority of them. What really set him up to guarantee that there was no version of this where he could come out unscathed was when he put out his statement and he kept editing the word minor in and out of it. And now in before someone says, actually, it was when he talked to a minor. You are right, of course, thank you for being that person. And if you are one of those people who thought in my first two videos I was just blindly defending Dr. Disrespect, I would very much like for you to unsubscribe because I can't be asked with your level of intellectual dishonesty. I was defending somebody who up until that point Point, was innocent until proven guilty, a position I have firmly held with all the Halls of Injustice videos I've done for the entire time I have been on this platform. If you don't like that, bye.